Continuing coverage of the area's largest tornado outbreak in nearly a decade. One area hit hard by an EF2 tornado is Colfax. News 18's Marcus Truscio joins us in the studio now to assess how residents are coping with loss and also preparing to rebuild. Marcus. Yeah, Marley, like in many other communities across West Central Indiana, the people of Colfax have spent days clearing debris from their properties in the aftermath of Friday's severe weather. I spent some time down there today and found that in this time of loss for a number of residents, this tiny town's sense of resilience will power them through. The sounds of backhoes and chainsaws can be heard for miles just outside of Colfax. Resident Joey Stillwell describes the moment he realized a tornado was barreling towards his home. I was kind of standing out by the door watching it to see what was happening. There was some baseball sized hail that started hitting and uh, and then this eerie gut feeling come over me and and I shut the door and immediately went and ran downstairs and um, it was probably about 30 seconds and it was here and done and gone. This particular tornado touched down one mile outside of town and traveled northeast for nearly seven miles. This tornado, previously rated an EF-1 by the National Weather Service, was upgraded to an EF-2 Monday, with estimated winds over 110 miles per hour. Uh, we heard the tree fall on the house and the uh, glass breaking and just the utmost wind. Uh, that, that you could ever describe. And this scene right behind me is familiar not only in and around Colfax, but anywhere that saw tornadoes Friday night, lifting debris up into the air and dropping it in open fields like this, hundreds of yards away from any structures, showing their sheer power. Now it's time to clean up and rebuild. AJ Cochran, owner of AJ Cochran Pork, lost almost everything Friday night. Luckily, most of his pigs made it out of the storm. Cochran does have hope. It'll just take time. We hope to have this built back and have pigs in it again within three months is what, is what our, our goal is. At every home in Colfax, there was a common theme. Residents say that over the weekend, dozens of neighbors were lending hands any way that they could. Paul Del Valle is a pastor at Colfax Christian Church. And so we went around to each of these houses to see, do you need a shed? Do you need a work team to come and help you out? The New Hope Church, which we'll go by, uh, has been offering meals every day for the workers, putting up new poles, you know, they're all out. Though it's unclear exactly how long the cleanup will take, one thing is for certain. Colfax is definitely the little town with the big heart. The people of Colfax are in good spirits considering what they've been through, but many of them were trying to clear as much as they can today as they prepare for more storm chances in the coming days. Reporting in studio tonight, Marcus Truscio, News 18.